Wait. Got another one. <laughs> hey everybody, Hickok 45 here. This is the Marlin 1895 STP. Haven't had this thing out in a while, in fact, at all, and haven't really shot it that much you know, since I've owned it. I guess I've not fired it since the last video, the only video we did with it. And I hadn't fired it much before that. So anyway, I noticed it in the safe here the other day behind some things and said, you know what, I miss shooting that gun. So we have it out for a chapter two. Let me load while I'm gabbing here. This is, uh, again, the STP 1895. This is a kind of a limited edition. This isn't one that you see in every gun shop because uh, I know I haven't. And uh, well, when I did, I had to scarf it up. Uh, I just have a weakness for these. Well, anything in 4570 I have a weakness for. Actually, you know, I have a weakness for anything that fires a round, you know? but uh, anything that fires these big, these big uh, rounds, you know, it's just it's just hard not to love. You know, if you're a gunny, you're a shooter, a shooter wannabe, and you probably are, if you're watching all my shenanigans, uh, you just can't help but like a uh, 45.70. And uh, let's put one in the chamber so we can get another one in. But this is a very short gun. It, uh, I don't have my favorite sights on it, my Skinner Peep Sights uh, Ghost Ring. I'm just kind of making do with what it had on it. I thought this one I might just leave like that. I'm not sure. I don't get a good clear sight picture, as you, you hear me talk about occasionally with my right eye. But uh, I think good enough, you know, good enough uh, to get by maybe with this thing. This is kind of a bear gun anyway. I don't think I'm going to be worrying about picking off that bear at 300 yards anyway. Uh, it's going to be up close and uh, close and dirty, isn't it? Okay, so let's try again now. I'm just pleased I hit that disc okay with it, you know? Uh, I mean, on one level, you always want to be able to shoot as well as you can, hit anything you can see. But I'm going to continue trying on those little guys over there. <laughs> Plowing up some dirt if I miss, that's for sure. Okay. Relax now. Got it. All right. She's right on, actually. It's just a matter of holding it there. So it's a matter of <laughs> coordinating the trigger brake while it's held there, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, let me load it up again. Yeah, this gun will work, I'll tell you what. Uh, man, those are, those are really high-vis sights, no doubt about it. So if I can hit anything with it the way it's set up, I'm especially pleased. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, man, talk about a bear gun. Hawk gun. Anything gun, maybe. Oh, plus, it has that beautiful laminate stock. We're still not being able to find out where those laminate trees grow, but uh, I hope they don't run out of them, because it's really not a bad looking uh, wood. All right. Well, I guess the fat's in the fire now. I'm expected to hit them all. <sighs> it felt like it was low. I'm <laughs> seeing double on that one.
don't think I'm going high. Okay. Try again. Yeah, I must have been going high. Okay. Then we got another bullet. Look at that last little one. See if I can get him with a little bit less struggle, maybe. <laughs> I'll take it. He fell forward, didn't he? I think I probably shot his feet out from under him. Woo! That is a nice little gun. It has such a short barrel that it's almost harder to hold steady than uh, a long barrel gun. You know, uh, I think there's actually something to that. I know shotgunners went through a period where they, I don't know, they think they're shooting skeet and stuff and uh, trap that. The general thinking was a short barrel was handier or for hunting quail or whatever and then uh, I believe a lot of experts claim now that you're almost better off with a longer barrel it, uh, it actually points better and everything so, all right. I'm always thinking of excuses it's always good to have some excuses handy but you never know when you're gonna need them all right now I got to get the elevation right on that long one again, let me try him. Got a lot of freedom on my windage, but. Uh, I'm determined not to shoot over him, I might have. Okay, now this guy, I have lots of uh, latitude on my elevation. Windage must be right on with this thing. All right, now we got one of the toughest targets. We've got a two liter over there. And they don't have much body to them. We'll at least scare him. I guess we did. I can't see it well enough to... You know, I don't think he broke. I'll shoot one more at him. He's a little target now. All right. We'll load up one more time and see what we do. We'll take a couple more at him. I think he's not uh, broken. And then maybe you finish up on the plate or a couple of these guys right here close by. Oh, man. Ooh, slinging a lot of heavy lead here. You guys are worth it, so am I. Big torpedoes. <laughs> oh man, we'll get, uh, let's see, I think that's five. Yeah, we'll put one in the chamber, hammer down, and uh, I'll give a six. All right, that's another nice thing about this one. My big guide gun holds uh, four in the magazine. This actually holds five. Okay, I've got three lit two liters right here, so I'm just gonna take uh, two more shots at that guy, maybe three, I don't know. We'll see. One more. He might be leaking out, can't tell. <laughs> now he's leaking out, all right. These guys right here want uh, their share of lead, too, I can tell. <laughs> nice. And yeah, we have one more. So let's go for the little gong over there. So, not a bad little shooter, is it? Uh, <laughs> You know, I guess you could call this a maybe a Tennessee AK or AR. This is a lever gun is just such a, a universal type of firearm. It uh, harkens back to the Wild West, of course, the old days, and it's still just as viable, you know, in so many ways. It, it really is. It's just just fun to shoot. Very simple operation. 
nothing complicated about it and uh, I don't know it just feels good in the hand you know it's just it's just a handy rifle to grab and hike with hunt with whatever you want to do and you can pretty much count on it being reliable there's generally not going to be a hang up with it you know because the ammunition is too light or something to, to work the bolt or to, to work a spring you know and all those uh, sorts of things you have with semi-automatics at least the potential for that so uh, this gun great outdoor gun you got the stainless the really durable laminate wood those trees i think grow down in the subtropics somewhere uh, but uh, that is a fine fine piece of marlin craftsmanship uh, the 1895 stp i've been shooting a lot of automatics lately and all those kinds of neat guns and uh, i just i just had a desire to bring something simple like this out and play with it for you so you know life is good <laughs>